Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at questions 6 to 10 of the Grey Kangaroo from 2021. The pink and the grey kangaroos are follow-on rounds from the UKMT Intermediate Maths Challenge. So if you do really well in the Intermediate Maths Challenge, then you can go on to take the kangaroo. You will do the grey kangaroo if you're in year 9 in England or equivalent years elsewhere, and you will do the pink kangaroo if you're in years 10 uh, or 11. And there are also uh, Olympiad rounds you can qualify for as well, the Cayley, Hamilton and McLaurin papers, again, for each of those three uh, different year groups if you do very well in the math challenges. So these questions are kind of a harder version of IMC papers, so they are also great preparation if you're taking the Intermediate Maths Challenge. But I actually don't think you should watch this video because I've put all of these questions uh, as well as the solutions and also some video hints into free online courses that you can sign up for by clicking down below. There are courses for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, for Junior, Senior Challenges as well and for the Kangaroos and you can take those courses, you can try the questions, uh, you can have a look at the hints, you can check your answers before you watch the video solutions and it's really the best way to use this content to prepare for the challenges. Unlike here on YouTube there are no ads or distra distractions over there as well and there are upgraded courses, go for gold in math challenges where you can really master the content and get well prepared uh, for the math challenges if you want to uh, but the free courses are really substantial and really useful and you can get a lot just by doing those as well so I really encourage you to click on the link below and to sign up for one of those courses now. If you'd rather stay here on YouTube, of course you're very welcome. Um, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me get the content out there. Um, so let's get on uh, with these questions now. So we've got a rectangular chocolate bar and Arena breaks off two complete strips and eats the 12 squares she obtains. So the two strips must be uh, two by six, right, to make, to make 12. So maybe uh, she takes uh, two by six uh, off the top here, something like this. Um, and uh, so, is that going to be six? There we go. And then Jack breaks off another complete strip from what's left and eats the nine squares that he obtains. So I guess he's going to take off something down here. And this is going to have nine squares. So how many squares are left? Well, there'll be nine uh, in this direction and there's five uh, here. So what's left must be nine times five, which is 45. And so the answer is D. So we've got a jar that when it's one fifth filled with water weighs 560. So let's write J plus one fifth of W is equal to 560 grams, where obviously W means the amount of water that the jar could hold if it was totally full. And then we'd also have the jar plus four fifths of the water would be 740. If I take the difference of these equations, that would just leave me with three fifths of the water, accounting for the difference between 740 and 560, which is 180 grams. Dividing this by three, I get that one fifth of the water would be 60 grams. And so if we look at this first equation that says that the jar uh, plus uh, one fifth of the water is 560, then that gives us that the jar uh, on its own is 560 minus 60, which is just 500 grams. And so the answer here is E. So we've got a large square that's 16 centimeters squared. So that means it must be uh, four by four. Actually, let me work on this bigger picture that I've got uh, over here. And uh, the smaller corner squares are one by one. So this is this is one and one. So all of these, uh, you know, lengths are one. I think the main thing with these sorts of questions is deciding what to do, whether you're going to try and work out the shaded area directly. Actually, usually in maths challenge questions, we either split it into lots of smaller triangles or something, shapes that we can count the area of, or we uh, do these sort of questions by subtraction, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, so actually, the unshaded area is much easier to work out than the shaded area. Right? I've got these squares that are all one, and then these other triangles are two uh, across and also uh, two high. So half base times height, half times two times two is just two. So each of these triangles is uh, two centimeters squared. So the unshaded part is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So that's 12. And so the shaded area must be the total of 16 minus 12. And that gives us uh, 4 centimetres squared. Really in this question, it's just about counting how many overlaps there are, right? Because we've got 25 planks of wood 
30 centimeters long. So if it didn't have any overlap, they would be uh, 25. It would be 25 times 30, which is 750 centimeters long. And it's actually only 6.9 meters, which is 690 centimeters long. So this 60 centimeter difference must be accounted for by the overlaps. Now, how many overlaps are there? Right. Well, you can see there's an overlap here. So whatever the length of that overlap is, it's counted twice. Um, and actually, there's one of those at the end of every plank, at the end of the first plank, at the end of the second one, at the end of the third, at the end of every plank, except the last one, which doesn't have one. So there are 24 overlaps. So the amount that's overcounted, if I just do 25 times 30, will be all of those overlaps. So 60 centimetres is 24x, where x is the width of the overlap. So I've just got to do 60 divided by 24. Uh, we've got a factor of... Uh, 12 top and bottom here, so I get 5 over 2, which is 2.5, and so the answer here is B. So we've got these five identical right angled triangles, and we can see uh, where the right angles are here, and they're all meeting um, in the middle uh, in this circle. So first I want to know what's the angle in the triangle here, right? Well, it's 360 divided by 5, because I've got five equal angles all meeting uh, the centre here, you could write 5x equals 360 if you wanted to. So that's 72 degrees. So I've got a right angle triangle, one of the angles is uh, 72 degrees, right, um, and this one is a right angle which is 90, so this one here must be 180 minus 90 minus 72, which is uh, 18 degrees. So without actually drawing the star here, you can see, well, what I would, the way I would make the star would be to put all of these sides, uh, the, the, these uh, angles in the middle instead of these angles. So how many would there be around the circle? Well, there would be 360 divided by 18, which is exactly 20. And so it's 20 triangles needed to form that second star. So I really hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, if you're preparing for maths challenges at any level, I've made free courses for all of the maths challenges. You can find links uh, in the descriptions below. Uh, click there and sign up to those now. No payment details required, uh, nothing like that. So you can sign up totally free of charge. There are some upgraded courses as well with some extra content. If you really want to master the challenges, you can sign up for those as well. But there's loads over there uh, for free. So I really hope that I will see you over there soon.